familiar with Dr. Seuss, especially the cat in the hat books. The Cat in the Hat is a 1957 children's book written and illustrated by the American I author Theodore Geisel, using the pen name Dr. Seuss. The story centers on a tall anthropomorphic cat who wears a red and white striped top hat and a red bow tie. The cat shows up at the house of Sally and her brother one rainy day when their mother is away. Despite the repeated objections of the children's fish, the cat shows the children a few of his tricks in an attempt to entertain them. In the process, he and his companions, Thing 1 and Thing 2, wreck the house. As the children and the fish become more alarmed, the cat produces a machine that he uses to clean everything up and disappears just before the children's mother comes home. It was one of my favorite books as a kid. I loved it growing up, and I still do to this day. But today, I will be telling you a terrifying theory, or legend, about Thing 3, that no one knew of. So I found out there wasn't only Thing 1, Thing 2, but there was was actually a Thing 3, which no one talks about, because of how creepy he is. Before we talk about Thing 3, we have to talk about what Thing 1 and Thing 2 are, in case you did not know. Thing 1 and Thing 2 are twins from the Cat in the Hat book. They wear red jumpsuits that have large fluffy hair. Like the cat, the things are extra-dimensional beings, but then three of them come to the land of humans to amuse the children of the world. They were released from a red box that the cat brought in to introduce to the children and fish, but they ended up causing mischief by flying kites into the house, which bunked the walls and also knocked everything down in their path. But Conrad was able to stop the things with the net and then they were taken away by the cat, who put them back into the box to stop all the chaos. Now I always thought that there was only a thing one, a thing two, and no others, but apparently in the Dr. Seuss world, there is a thing three and a thing four, just in case the cat ever needs any extra help, which I suppose is pretty useful. But what if I told you that there are some pretty creepy legends about thing three, things that would make you never meet him? I will tell you what had happened in the story. The story starts off with a mother reading her son the cat in the hat book every single night. It was just the book he would request, it was like he could never get bored of it, and he seemed to especially liked the part where the cat in the hat brought in that red box, let out thing one and thing two, but for some reason, he would just stare at each page after that for extremely long periods of time, and he wouldn't let his mom switch to the page until he was done looking. Now she found that very strange, but she just thought that he was super fascinating by the book and needed more time to look at it. Well, Halloween came around, and he told his mother that he was going to dress up as one of the characters from the book, so the mother said to him, Let me guess either thing one or thing two. But the boy just looked at her, confused, and shook his head, and told her, No. I want to be thing three. So she just laughed at him at first, and said that there was no thing three, but the boy shook his head, and said that they were point one of the main characters in the book. He said that on each page after the cat opens the red box, thing three is hiding somewhere in the illustrations. So the mother thought that maybe he had a very creative imagination, but for some reason that night, she couldn't get herself to sleep. She was just so curious about what her son had said, so she went into his room and grabbed the book. Now the first half of the book was as he remembered, but after thing one and thing two appeared, her heart dropped. She peered around the pages after that to see this eerie drawing of this creature, crouched behind furniture in the house. It was wearing a red jumpsuit, with the three on the front, with this disheveled blue hair falling out, and it had the widest grin imaginable. On one page it was hiding behind a chair, on another page it was hiding behind a bed, on another it was appearing through a window, and her son was right, in order to see him, you really, really had to be looking, which is why most parents probably never noticed, but this is where the legend gets really, really creepy, because apparently, Dr. Seuss didn't make him for parents to find, he did not want adults to see him, he only wanted the kids reading the book to see him,
because apparently one. An adult finally sees, Thing 3 gets very angry, and there is no telling of what he might do. Well, the next morning, his mother was woken up to this loud scream from her son's room. She jumped off the bed, ran down the hallway, to find his son's room completely a mess, the furniture was overturned, his clothes were spread everywhere all over the room, his wallpaper was torn out of the walls, and her son was just sitting up, looking absolutely horrified. She asked him what happened, and all that he could do was point across the room. The mother followed to where he was pointing, and saw a shadow figure, crouched behind the chair, under his desk. She could see the blue hair and the glowing whites of his teeth as he smiled, and that's where the story ended. Since of after the incident, kids have claimed that they noticed the figure behind their chair as well, and that meant that they were never gonna look back at the cat in the hat ever again. If you ever find him in the book, he will come for you. And also, if he is hiding under anyone's chair, call the police as soon as possible, or you will be having the same encounter just like the boy. Categories